Are we rolling? Are we live? Where's Elliot? Uh, so what do we do the past couple of weeks? Uh, we're making progress on stuff for Momocon. Um, that's a lot of new projects and in progress stuff, as well as some of the old favorites we have. I'm gonna be reprogramming the red human head. Um, I had finished up some stuff for the Merida, which I'll talk about more in depth in a second. Um, but I sent that off to Sean Thorson because Bay Area Maker Fair is in like a week or two and I believe he's gonna have those there. So I wanted to make sure he had that stuff to have that prepared. And I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I'm not sure if I'll have that back in time for Momocon. I really hope I do, because it'd be really neat to show off. Um, especially just because collaborating with Sean is a total dream come true. Um, but we also have been making progress on our stuff for QuakeCon. Uh, they finally announced the rules and everything for their costume contest. We were making Doom Guy for the Red Human, so we've done more work on the super shotgun. I started prototyping the armor. The helmet is still pretty much ready to go. I need to make the vac forming bucks um, for the visor. But the armor, I've done some test prints to check scale. And then now we have some of it ready to go. I'm still tuning the scale for the chest armor. So we're gonna do another another print of the chest armor and see if that fits the way we want before we finish, uh, before we go forward with production on it. But every all of that is shaping up really well. Um, I also, speaking of the Merida, I also molded and pulled a test cast of some of the parts that I have here. Uh, the uh, flash hider, which is part of the barrel assembly, um, was molded off of a real steel M60 flash hider, which is very close to the same one used in the film. So I 3D printed a little plug so that it'll help mold it more cleanly. And so that's been molded and I pulled a test cast of that. Uh, I also finished up the faux Mini 14 assembly that goes in the rear of the gun. Um, the live firing guns in the film were built around a Mini 14 with just custom hardware to make it look like the gun from the movie. But the actual blanks came out of an actual Mini 14. Because the shells ejected out of it, that part is visible in the rear of the gun. So we have to make that part visible. Um, and I have, I know someone who has one and they gave me a bunch of measurements and a bunch of great photos. So I 3D modeled and printed a close enough facsimile for a static uh, mini 14 little insert that'll go in the rear and that was finished molded and I pulled a test cast of that and that's looking great um, and so all of the 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 original the master so the actual real steel flash hider the m60 flash hider that got shipped to Sean to Sean Thorson um, for him to mold for his run that he's doing um, I also sent him the shotgun foregrip, which is uh, the, a reproduction of the same one used in the film, uh, as well as some SLA prints for the, mag for the magazine cover. Now I'm doing my own magazine cover for our own, both for the gun itself and for the, the extra magazines that we will have on our belt. So I was working on the mag cover and prototype that the 3D model, I, 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 I bought a screen used mag cover uh, and I pulled measurements off of that to create my 3D model. The 3D print seems to not be exactly the same. So I need to figure out if I have a, a printer that's out of tune and I need to tighten it up or if just something happened in the translation from measurement to 3D model to 3D print. Uh, so I'm going to do another another test on that to get that exactly where I want it to be. But it does fit the real steel magazine that the Mini 14 uses. And I bought, again, a near reproduction of the exact magazine used on the live fire guns and, and 
was molded for the stunt magazines. So our stunt mags, our, our extra ammo mags on our pout, on our belt, uh, are going to look as accurate as possible. Um, and that fits inside of the one I designed as well. Uh, it fits inside just as well as in the screen used one, so I know that I have the right magazine. Um, but all that's going to take a little bit of work. Um, but yeah, Doom Guy and Marita was the main things that I was working on. I'm preparing to do some molding of more rocket launcher stuff, the Quake Champions rocket launcher. With QuakeCon coming up and with them just releasing their rules for their cosplay contest, I'm, we're trying to determine what we want to have there. With Doom Guy, we have the super shotgun, but the rocket launcher looks beautiful, so do we want to have that? So we're trying to get as much together as we can. And then the other big thing that we've been working on is a commission for a friend of ours. Uh, we are making some armor from Warhammer 40K. And we actually did this commission for him some months ago and we're doing some improvements and doing a new run of it. So we re-3D printed the masters. We're trying to make, get it that back into perfect condition so that it'll look great. We're gonna make a mold of it so that what he wears will be very lightweight and very strong, unlike the 3D print, which is very heavy. Um, thankfully, that armor is so, uh, it's very, sim it's very simple, it's simplified. Um, so cleaning it up is very quick. And we've been able to make a lot of progress on that really quickly. I'm hoping to be able to have that molded um, within the next week and get that out the door in no time. So, Elliot, what were you working on? Oh, well, well, Jeff's here. So, Jeff, you want to come sit down and talk about stuff you've been working on? Yeah, sure. Come on. We need to reframe that. Jeff's a little taller than Elliot. There we go. So, Jeff, what have you been working on the past couple weeks? 3D printers. 3D printers everywhere. Uh, the tornado's still having a little bit of issues, but I got the E3D installed and pit tuned it and everything like that. And I need to find out the hard way. I need to replace one of the PFT tube connectors. So that's going to be some fun time with a wrench and trying not to break plastic. Uh, Got to install the firmware on the Folger Tech. That shouldn't take too long. And then uh, it's going to be printing, 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 printing. Lots of printing to do. I got lots and lots of things coming up. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. And then, of course, I got to help with everything else that's going on. And that's gonna be fun too. Bye. So yeah, that's been the last two weeks. Uh, lots of progress on lots of projects. With MomoCon coming up, we're gonna have a couple of things shape up really quickly and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, as always, if you'd like to check out the things we're working on, you can look at our Twitch channel. 
We are live right now at twitch.tv slash making it up. And I think that's it. Bye.